We're making the dots for the collect and connect the dots game. So we're adding games as we go and each game or activity is represented by a dot so we can find out what activities we are adding to the scene during the Leading Edge Games in 2020 summer during this coronavirus time. This is the Pike Stories, the new Pike activity book. It's a scavenger hunt for history. We're going to play games, do research and explore as we learn about the historic Long Beach Pike and its role in amusement park history. We're giving credits to the photographer in the first photo. From the Wikipedia entry, in 1954, there were 218 amusements in the park. But during that time, the zone became, began to face stiff competition from Knott's Berry Farm and then Disneyland, both less than 20 miles away. And the rough, free-for-all reputation of the pike may have discouraged some families from attending. In the 1950s, the area underwent another facelift. Advertising with coupons appealed to families Appealing to families appeared in local newspapers. A kiddie land collection of carnival flat rides, a Bud Hurlbut miniature train, and petting zoo were installed on the silted in new sand. And public restrooms were built of concrete and cinder block near a new picnic area, giving it a post World War II modern look and the park was renamed New Pike as a result of a write-in naming competition. The first activity. In 1954 there were 218 amusements in the park. What were the 218 activities that were on the pike in 1954? List as many as you can find. Remember, they need to have been there in 1954. And the list. The goal is to provide 218 spaces that are made available for people to write in what they are finding out as they find it. To keep it a little bit interesting, I want to have the images, the spaces defined as sort of like color in images that could be done to find out bits of, um, to depict bits of other images we find. What do I mean? Good question. So here is an image of the pike. Actually, I will go to the actual image of the pike from whence this came. Okay, so right here we see there is a curve of the roller coaster going down, and here we see another curve of the roller coaster, roaster, roaster roller roller coaster going down. And you can actually, I believe, see the two tracks for the two trains right there, right? So I have interpreted that loosely and created this image. And you might think this is nothing to do with a roller coaster. Why, well, certainly that is probably the case. I am wanting 
if they color in okay if they color in this track and this track and then this is a roller coaster train with two people on it another one and another one and then here is another track going up with a roller coaster car going up 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 three going up and three going down that probably is not how it would have happened you might have seen one here and one here so maybe the depiction could change but that's the idea is to take a little bit of inspiration from the shape of something in the image and depict something that that could be called roller coaster while making little spaces where they can write in things the sum total of all of the Im spaces in the images should be 218 so that we have enough spaces for people to write in things but at the same time we're having a little fun and making a little coloring book and then I filled it in here with these are like the supports of the roller coaster train loosely right um, that's the idea and then we can find other images and we could make not a roller coaster maybe we're making a ride that existed in 1954 so with this project we are learning about the pike at a certain period of time we are understanding that there was a lot of activity going on and we are starting to understand what explore what were some of the activities in there we might in the first comic actually introduce some of the answers we find like this one could have in here the cyclone racer right so that's one of the 218 and we already provided the answer so there we go that's the activity what this does it uh, permits us to get the kids used to creating what is a custom layout right here and then to laying out things so it's sort of like a drawing activity but we're using the layout tool as a drawing tool and then the kids could have fun with it they're also like figuring out um, it, it's it's sort of a different kind of problem they're figuring out how to how to manage the number of things with the spaces draw at the same time and um, I don't know, you know, have some fun, make something, publish something, all right? There we go. And then hopefully we can get this activity done in two days. All right, so let's see how that goes.